Hello, this is Gonzalo with another Ask the Trainer question. How do I get my dog to not jump on people? She doesn't do it to everyone, but at times when we are walking and she's off leash, she'll get excited to see other people. And we'll greet them excitedly, which often includes going up on her two back legs and putting her front muddy paws on people. Okay, so the situation is we, the dog is actually getting some kind of reinforcement for jumping uh, somewhere, right? She's getting some kind of reinforcement maybe in the house or maybe with strangers that uh, are friends, I mean, that are coming to the house. So we want to work on that most of all. Now, ideally, we want to teach the dog a bulletproof sit and a down. We want to reward with a lot of kibble and a lot of praise. We want to be proactive about it. We want to practice inside the house first. When we have people come into the house, we want to role play it. We want to put her on a leash and control her, right? We want to make sure that she can do a sit and a down no matter what kind of distractions are happening in the house. If she can do that and she can uh, pay attention to you, if she can not you know, disengage inside of the house with somebody, then we can step it up to the next step, which is we want to give her directions as she is approaching strangers off leash. Um, so, right, we want to be proactive and we want to role play at the house as much as we can. Now, if you have taught the commands, what I suggest is you can move on to the next step, which is correcting the dog. You can correct the dog with a no, right? Meaning that you've already taught her that no means there's some kind of correction or punishment coming. So you're going to say it ahead of time. Uh, or you can pop a leash. If you keep a, a long, long leash on her and let her go up to somebody, you pop the leash and you say no. You say no and then you pop the leash. Or you can use an e-collar, which is probably your best... Um, option for stopping a long distance behavior where you're from far far away now again i know it can get a little tricky because if you don't want to spend the money on the e-collar and you and it's not happening inside the house uh and it's only happening when the dog's far away from you off leash then again your best option is going to be to role play it go up to people that you know ask somebody that you know to meet you outside and when the dog comes running up to them, they're going to say sit or down. You've already practiced the sit and a down and made it bulletproof at home, made it bulletproof around corrections while she's on a leash. So when she goes up to somebody, uh, somebody that you know, that's already has the instructions, they're going to say sit, they're going to say down, and then they're going to give her a lot of praise or kibble or a toy. And she's going to learn, wow, when I go up to these people, I get a lot more reinforcement for sitting and doing a down than I do for jumping. Hope that helps.